Why are you doing this to me? Do you hear me? Why are you doing this to me? I can't. I just. I just can't. What do you mean? What do Tell her. Tell her she's wearing the shirt that I spilt the margarita on and the earrings I gave her for Christmas. Molly, Sam says to tell you you're wearing the shirt that he spilled the margarita on and the earrings he gave you for Christmas. Don't you see? I'm not a fake. Not about this. Give me a penny, quick. What? Push a penny under the door now. You be talking about push a penny under the door. Just do it. A thunderous fucking penny there. Um. Yeah. Push a fucking penny under the door. I think he. As from the movie Ghost, it makes no sense to me. If he could pick a fucking penny up, he could have played with her. With her, he could have flicked her bean. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Get out of my vagina, indeed. Uh, welcome to the sewers, everybody. I am Nick the Rat. This is Nick the Rat Radio. We're up to episode 100 and fucking 90. I don't know. Well, that's not really a number. That might be like a new wave number or something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, fucking 10, fucking 11, fucking 12. But yeah. Uh, uh, my doctor is still prescribing me this, this drink here. He said that I got to drink... Uh, a little bit of Dos Equis. Uh, Dos Equis Negro. No, it's not Dos Equis. This is Modelo. Modelo Negro and tequila. So mm. I got to mix that up right here. Gotta fix this up. Uh, you might be like Nick the Rat. But you were sick two weeks ago. And yeah, it was, it was a while ago. Uh... But the doctor said keep drinking this shit, so you can't you can't disrespect your doctor. So I will not disrespect him. Tonight we have a lovely episode. <sighs> actually, it's not that lovely. I might actually have to go back to the doctor. This is a little bit of a personal uh journey for me. Uh if there's if there's children in the room. Throw them out of the window right now, please. Just get them out. Just move the children from the room and throw them outside. Just get them out. Just leave. There's children. Please, just get the kids out. I don't want them to hear this. But last night... Oh, God. I can't even believe I'm going to tell you guys this. this. But I feel close with everybody here. I feel like we're a tight-knit sewer family. I woke up with a boner, okay? I fucking woke up, and there was a, I, I was, I was fully there, okay? And that could only mean one thing. I got raped by a ghost last night. I fucking woke up, a ghost must have been having sex with me the whole entire goddamn night. I woke up and there it was. So tonight we're going to be discussing ghost sex. How to protect yourself, how to protect your loved ones. What what it's about, how it felt. It was Actually it wasn't it wasn't so bad. It was kind of enjoyable. But um I do feel definitely taken advantage of. Thank you, chat room. There's there's a chat room going on right now. Uh, sewer chat. It's not hooked up. There's the the. Con I think I just lost like ten viewers in a, a couple places because they heard um, they heard about my my, my, my little the thing that happened to me this morning, and they couldn't take it. I understand. Okay. If if this topic is too too mature for you. I totally get it. I understand that there's there's a lot of things going on in life and sometimes these things are you, you just don't want to hear it. like there's so much stuff going on in the world like we might get, we might blow up, we might melt, we you might eat plastic or something, you might die like tomorrow. So you might not want to hear about how you could also be molested by ghosts while you're sleeping. 
I get it totally. I totally get it, but we have to discuss it. Because if I don't do it, who the, who the fuck's going to do it, okay? Yes, Bustin makes you feel good. I totally understand. Okay, either way, but that's not what we're talking about tonight. We're talking about the the serious side of this. Okay? But we also have, it looks like Zindu has sent me news. Looks like we have a whole bunch of voicemails. If you want to send me a voicemail, give me a call at 917-719-5923. I'll play it later. I'll, take, I'll be taking phone calls live in a little bit, like 20 minutes or so. I might do an art giveaway. Should I do an art giveaway? Should I do like an original art? Uh, let's see. The chat room. Is anybody interested in an art giveaway for tomorrow? I can probably I can probably bust one out. All right, looks like uh, art giveaway is going on. So the secret word to win the art is "busted." Makes me feel good. If you if you say if you say "busted," "busted" makes me feels good. You'll want an original piece of art that I will send to your house. Completely laminated, not with sex cretions, okay? It's lamination paper. So busting makes me feel good is the um, phrase that pays. If you if you get on the phone line and you, if you happen to I know it's kinda hard to get in, okay? Got millions of listeners. Thousands of people are calling me constantly. I actually have to cherry pick some of the voicemails I get. But if I get to you and you say it, then you win. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. You can also send me an email. If you put the title as Gas Blast, I will read it during the show. Now, the later the show gets, the more inebriated I become and the harder it is to read. But I'm going to try my best. I know I missed a couple last week. But we'll revisit that this week. Overall, I feel it's going to be a good show. Everything's going to come together nice and tight. Oh, oh. But we're we're gonna we're gonna discuss this a little bit more. Um, let's start the show with some music because that's how we always do it. Um, Jizz dude, fault? No, this is Gizmo dude with fault. It's going to be a good one. Maybe. Right. 
I just want to tell you a little story about uh, it's pretty scary stuff that happened to me. I just feel like I got drunk, and I'm not even on anything. I haven't drank anything. That is what listeners to Nick the Rat will do to you. That's a giz gizmo dude with fault. Uh, my, my level's all a little whack. Oh, wait. There we go. Uh, I was a little whack because I'm still a little, I'm a little, uh, it's a little weird. Getting, having, having sex forced upon you sucks. Uh, especially when when you have no control over it because it's like a, like a ghost like you can't sue them you can't beat them you can't get your 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 your, your friends and your family to to kill them you can't do that they're already dead they're ghosts uh now some of you out there might be saying oh nick the rat you were just having a wet dream okay look i don't have wet dreams that's that's childish i make sure to i make i make sure to Empty the sacks before I go to bed, so I can't have a wet... Okay, that's... This is a really personal episode. I'm feeling a little, uh... Yeah. Feeling a little... Feeling a little shy. Shy shy guy. Um, so it wasn't... It definitely wasn't wet. I know what a wet dream is. Wasn't that. I didn't wake up wet, by the way. I woke up, It. I felt it... I felt like... Do you know the, the hag syndrome? When it feels like there's something sitting on your chest... Well, it felt like something was sitting on my chest, but going up and down on, on my, my crotchal, area, crotchal area. Oh, boy. Uh, this is this is kind of traumatizing, this episode. This is not... Also, some of you might think that I have a spectrophilia, okay? Spectrophilia is the sexual attraction to ghost or sexual arousal from images in mirrors. I don't know how the fuck those things go together, but apparently it's a thing. It's also a um, alleged that the phenomenon of sexual encounters between ghosts and humans is uh, spectrophilia. Some people, some people are into it. I did watch. Um, I don't have any clips from it, but there was this show, like a talk show, where this woman was like, "Oh, I have sex with uh, ghost," and she gets all into it. And I believe her now. I totally believe her because I experienced this. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't dreaming. It was real. It was goddamn real. Uh, and it was traumatic. Like, it... Sure, it felt good. But I also felt abused. You know? It's... What the hell was that? Oh, it's my phone. Okay, but you know what? I think my phone is trying to tell me to um, talk to it. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to I'm gonna go to a voicemail. Let's see if there's any voicemail here. Uh, 
And then maybe we'll listen to some news or something. So thank God Zindu's back, and he sent me that... He sent me some... Uh, some news. That guy last week sounded like Richard Nixon or something. That was really weird. Okay, let's uh, let's listen to this voicemail over here and see what we got. Hey, Nick. Yeah, Zindu. Oh, boy. This hospital, it's, it's killing me. I've... I'm not feeling my typical Zindu. Okay, look. I know I I only have a few sick days and I'm going over the limit, but you got to keep paying me. I got to stay here because I'm I'm fucking dying. Also, I met the hottest girl here. Her name is Marilyn. Now, she was wearing all white and she's floating around the fucking room. She sat in my lap. She fucking oh boy. She made three of my four extremities, let's just call them that, uh, explode almost on contact. Incredible stuff, this lady. So, um, I know that last week the uh, newscaster I sent you wasn't good, but this week I'm going to send you her. She's going to do a great job, I think. She's going to be uh, great for your show. I think you're going to have a great do. time uh, with, with her. Her name is Marilyn. Uh, also, if you could... Uh, not play this message because if Bethany hears that I've been fooled around on her, she might get upset. But now that I'm I starting to, I'm starting to think. Okay. That I maybe I got this Octarian. It's not Octarian flu. I think it might be from from Bethany. This might it. be fucking like Earth AIDS or something. I don't know what she has. I can't stop the message. It's okay. Lovely it's girl, but once you get shit in your mouth, oh, in, the, in an alleyway. No telling what you might have. Send okay. Text. Oh, boy. Send stop talking. All right. Thanks, Nick. Just don't play this message. Shut play the up. news. And please keep paying me. I'll, I'll be better soon. I promise you. Shut. Zindu, shut the All fuck right, up. All right. Bye. That fucking. Can I get oh. more jello over here? What? I fucking love that shit. The green. Yeah, the green jello. Yeah, and the, the pain. The pain relief. Yeah, give me some of those, those pain pills. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I didn't hang up. Fuck. Fuck this shit, fuck. Well, I have no idea what the fuck Zindu sent me this week, but apparently we do have, um, news of some sort. Some sort of news. Ah, man. This Modelo Negro with, with tequila is really good. I don't even remember what happened last week, actually. Uh, um, do I play the news now, or do I... Um, you know what? Maybe I should read a gas blast. I think I had a couple gas blasts that I missed last week. We'll, we'll listen to a gas... We'll, I'll, I'll read a... Uh, uh, let me bring up a gas blast really quick here. Um, gas. See, if you put the gas blast in the title, it makes it easier for me to find it. I got a couple here. I don't know if I read this here. I might have read this. Don't know. Uh, gas blast. Go away flu. All right. I think I probably already read that. This one I don't think I read though. Uh, Nick. How many times have you traveled into space? The moon. What other planets have you visited? I think I was at the moon at least once, maybe twice. I've been in outer space several times. Um, what's his name? Not Riker. I find his name. Rainer. Picard? I wish... Man, I'm so upset about Picard. Fucking Kurtzman. Got his dick in that shit. Fucking bullshit. Okay, uh, whew. Um... Rainer. Jim Rainer has taken me in outer space many times. He saved my life several times. I've been in outer, outer space a lot, okay? It's a great place. It's really fun. Zero G. It's cool because you're floating around, and if you fart, you just you, can, you move. You move around. It's like you don't even have to walk. You just fart. And what's lazier than that? Farting and burping is like walking in outer space. It's fucking great. Um... We're going to, I just got two bits from somebody in the chat. Fucking thanks for the bits. Itty bitty, sh shitty bitties. So far, so far, 
Twitch has never paid me. But that's not either here nor there. We're going to listen to some more music. We're going to get back. We're going to actually listen to the, the news, perhaps. This song is nice. This is a good one. It's from Diamond Days, who I think actually is in the Discord chat. So happy that I got the, the actual. The, I listen. I listen to Diamond Ace all the fucking time. This amazing stuff. The weird thing is that a lot of a lot of Diamond Ace's stuff is like ooh demo or unreleased or. Come on, man, just release it. You're great. Don't worry about it. Uh, this one's called Nimbus, Antar, Ant, Antarctid, Deep Blue. I think that's the name of it. In the morning to Nick the Rat. But I just gotta let you know right now, man, you're doing great stuff, and I fucking love you, man. You're so rock. Nick the Rat! That Diamond Days is incredible. I can't, I can't get enough. 
diamond ace all day long. Diamond ace. Nimbus and Tarkid. Deep blue diamond. Welcome back to Nick the Rat. Shibbly boodoo. Skibadapadee do. Uh, I wanted to say thanks to all the people that donate to the show. If uh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my thanks now before I get. Before I get um, uh, too inebriated to uh, thank them later, uh, you could uh, subscribe. You could send me donations. You could uh, it's mostly through PayPal. And if if you send me stuff, it just lets me know that I I know that you care. If you put a message in the PayPal thing, I'll read it, but you could, you could, I'll, if you, I'll, if you just listen, I, I, I love you, thank you, thank you for listening. Um, we, we should, we should listen to some news now before we get into, hold on, I gotta set up a folder over here. I don't know what the hell Zindu sent me. Alright, there we go. Let me dump that, and dump this. This is, um, uh... Your donations come to me, and then I give them to Zindu, and Zindu sends me this. I don't even know what this is. But if I don't send him any money, he'll eat my face. So please, if you don't want my face to be eaten, which might be kind of cool, uh, send me some money. What the fuck Hi, is everybody. This? My name is Marilyn, and I'm reporting to you for the Dark Sewer News Network. Uh, my boyfriend, Zindu, is real sick right now, and I thought I would just, like, fill in for him, just like he's filled me in so many times. Now, he's told me about this Bethany bitch, but we'll talk about her later. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about um, gene therapy right now and how they're doing it in Japan. Like, in Japan right now, there's human-animal hybrids to be developed, and, like, there was a ban that was just controversially lifted. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I've had... I fucked animals before. I've had sex with, like, dogs, what and the? fucking... I've rubbed tuna fish all over my cooch, what and let my fuck? kitty Garfield just go down on me. He's like, ooh, is that lasagna? I'm like, no, that's a beef stromboni, you fucking stupid oh cat. My God. So anyway... Um, it looks like also in China, there were some Mexican guys trying to mix humans with monkeys. And like, if I recall, that's what like the Nazis were doing. So I'm totally against that. And, but basically, like, if you're going to be making people into like monkeys or rat pieces, I'm like totally all for it. Like if I need it, because I do like a lot of drinking and maybe one day I'm going to need me. Like a new liver or something, you know what I'm trying to say to you? And if I can get this liver, then, like, I'm totally down for it. I don't care where it came from. As long as I can keep drinking my Cosmos and stuff. And my, like, apple martinis. What is, I don't know how this fucking microphone works. This is stupid. What is this? There's so many wires. I don't know what's going on. Zindu said that this would be easy. He said just come down here and, like, do this stuff. I, he... He's so nice, that Zindu boy. Anyway, um, we're going to come back a little bit later, and we're going to give you some more news. Bye. This is Marilyn for the Dark Sewer News Network. Bye. Pea Sheets, she's not woke. This, this, she does not represent anything. Did she say... Beef strum bony oh boy. Uh voice voice voicemail. Voicemail. We're gonna go to voicemail. We're gonna we're gonna talk more about ghost ghost rape. I guess fuck whatever. Jesus Christ. What is this? <laughs> this show is This is the end of the world as we know it. Uh, Voicemail, 917-719-5923. We got voicemails over here, over there. Uh, Yeah, here we go. Nick the rat. Oh, Nick the 
Oh, fuck. Fuck you! What the... <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, callers. Thank you for calling me and telling me to go fuck myself. That's that's really what I need. You know what? We're playing another voicemail because of that shit. That was not cool. You, you rat bastard. Oh, God. You suck. Ah! You can't say fuck you to your contributors. Okay, so it was just me. So I could say, apparently I, I could suck. Say, I could say fuck you to anybody I want. Uh, fucking Zindu and yeah, everybody else got nothing but mad respect. But you were a little, you were a little mean to callers tonight. Some of us mean to everybody. Some of us. What do you know? Hmm. And who might they be? Listen, fuck face. <laughs> And listen good. Um, okay. I'm listening. Uh, uh, I don't know what I want to say. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> because. I usually don't hang up on voicemails. I'm hanging up on that voicemail. We still love you. <sighs> Voice in my head. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's, it's crazy. Oh, it only gets crazier. I get raped by ghosts. I get people yell at me on the voicemails. I'll... <sighs> you know what? Hey, at... what? Yeah. At least you're not running around claiming that a dead guy's ghost fathered your child. Uh, how do you know? Well, because a New Jersey woman believes that a ghostly image uh, in a video confirms that a dead guy is her son's father. However, the alleged grandmother wants proof and petitioned a court for a DNA test. Whoa! Wait, where are they going to get the DNA from? Precisely. <laughs> this is in Jersey? Go figure. There's even an episode of Paternity Court on the I just looked up a uh, Jersey Ghost Dad. I'm just getting um, Bill Cosby. I bet you, actually, you know what? <laughs> the fact that Bill Cosby was in a movie called Ghost Dad kind of fucked up. Oh man, I didn't think about that till just right now. Um, uh, we're gonna play some more music. We're gonna come back. We're gonna talk more about, uh, and we're gonna open the phone lines. Oh God. This, this, this show is going down the fallopian tubes. DJ U C H U U Uchi U Uchi with uh, Ami Amiga Wave. Oh my god, that's so loud! The Amiga. As well as the 600 and 1200 from 1992. The Amiga. As well as the 600 and 1200 from 1992. The Amiga. As well as the 600 and 1200 from 1992. The Amiga. Comedy was the most popular name in the world computer history. I thought I told you one time I'll tell you 16 times. 
Stop blasting that monkey bullshit up from the sewer. You're trampling my HS signal down in Mexico. I can't get my slave labor coats made. I can't get my signal down there because you're trampling my motherfucking signal. I can hear that shit coming up through the... quickly became one of the iconic home computers of the time period. The Amiga. What the, what the hell? The devil's in my head won't shut up! Jesus, oh, that was Amiga Wave with DJ U-C-U-H-U-U. We're back to Nick the Rat Radio, everybody. Uh, I think I'm going to play another piece of news. And then we're going to open the phone lines, and then we're going to get more into uh, ghost, ghost, ghost sex. I got more to say about it. I've been doing research. There's more than just ghost dad Bill Cosby making you go to sleep while he has sex with you. That's a low blow. Um, ooh, that could be good. There's more than just... Spectophilia, spectrophilia. There's more than just sitting on your hand to make it numb before you jerk yourself off. There's more than just waking up hard with a night hag sitting on your chest. There's, there's a, there's a lot out there. We're gonna, we're gonna go to a fucking ad. We're gonna play some news. We're gonna play some news. News. Dear God, that's loud. Hey everybody, this is Marilyn again for the Dark Sewer News Network. Um, let's see here. Zindu is feeling okay. Um, it looks like some bitch got him sick. I don't know. He was seeing me. And then apparently he was seeing somebody else because me and him weren't like, you know, um, what do you call it? Like, um, totally a unit or something, like a family unit. So... He got a little sick, and he's still in the hospital. He's doing fine, though, I think. There was only a little bit of, g like, green junk coming out of his junk, so I think he's going to uh. be fine. It tasted like honey anyway, uh. so I kind of like it. Um, let's talk about more green honey with uh, this new clear power. Uh, it's, like, new scale. Nuclear. And let's see. First, there was, like, an article that came out a few weeks ago. For like power dot com, power mag dot com, like I'm I'm totally into like power mags and you know stuff like that. It came out like seven twenty nine twenty nineteen by a guy named Aaron Larson, and he was like, "This totally is all working," and they're on they're on they're on schedule to make these like little tiny powered nuclear powered things for like your house so you could like power up your sex toys or your 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 TVs and shit. And I'm totally all for like, like cheap power. I'm paying I'm paying at least twenty dollars a month for my electric bill. You know that's a lot of fucking. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's not that fucking much money. I don't know. So then I go over to like the 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 Salt Lake Times, and then they're like they had this whole article. This whole article. It was like more than three paragraphs. So I didn't read it all. But they're like, no, nah, that shit is, like, too risky. It's risque, if you know what I'm trying to say. Now, I don't know if they've seen how I get dressed up on a Saturday night, so I don't know if they would know what risque really is. But they're like, nah, this, this new scale shit, it's scary. I don't know if they're just, like, a bunch of pussies or, like, you know, maybe we shouldn't have, like, these portable nuclear power plants in our back pocket. I don't know. But 
That's for you guys to decide. I'm just reporting the news. I'm not giving opinions. I'm giving the facts, motherfucker. Anyway, I'll be back a little bit later, and maybe I'll uh, have some more news for you, okay? Mm, love you, bye. We're getting reports of drop frames on Twitch. And yes, I can confirm Twitch is in the red. Twitch is in the red. I can maybe I'll like stop, then restart the stream. I'm going to keep the recording. Yeah, I'm going to try it. So if you're on Twitch, I'm just going to hit stop and then start. Uh, def- fuck if I know if that's going to do anything. I'll let you know. It stopped. So right now I could be like, fuck Amazon. Fuck Twitch. Twitch sucks no, it's dick. Running. Amazon could suck a fat one. Okay, let me start. It's still stopping. Let me start it back up here. I don't know. Now it now won't even start up. I shouldn't maybe not have even... Maybe I shouldn't even have done that. Yeah, I see a movie going in the background, but I don't see you doing anything but moving around in no... I think, uh, I think Twitch is dead. Could not access the specified... I think I got hacked. Okay, let me start it up again. Maybe that'll work. I'm hacked, everybody! I got fucking hacked. I got 18 people on the stream. They're they're trolling me. I don't know if it's working. (laughs) It's not about the Twitch stream anyway. It's about, uh... I got zero. I'm offline! I'm offline. I got hacked on uh on yeah, I gotta switch over to D Live. Basically, uh wait, no, I'm back. I'm back. I think I'm back. I'm back and I'm green. Amazon's the best. Twitch the best. I fucking love it. I love Twitch. I love Amazon. Not D Live and all that like ninja switching over to fucking whatever. He's a loser. I'm joking. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna open up the phone lines. Gene Witch. Phone lines are open. Woo. We're taking uh. We're taking live calls on Nick the Rat. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello, caller. <laughs> you. <sighs> okay, so the caller was a caller was shy. It was a shy caller. I get it. I get it. I totally understand. I understand. Some callers, they don't... Once you... I know. I talk to myself sometimes at night and I get really... Uh, I get fame shy or whatever. You know what? I need another beer. I think it's time for another beer. Maybe I should discuss more about actually the topic as well. I lost all my viewers on Twitch. That's fine. Amazon go suck a dick and it's fine um okay let's get this tequila in there oh jeez ain't no coming back from that yeah i know it's i know it's back ducky i fucking know it's back jesus christ i got i got hacked i got hacked by somebody it was the hackening okay uh whoa whoa so much head like last night when that ghost was Suck in my. Okay. Stillwater, that was you calling me. You couldn't hear me. You, you fucked up, bro. Okay, we're gonna play an advertisement because I get a lot of donations. A lot, but they don't pay all the bills. So we have to listen to some donations. We're gonna listen to some. Uh,
I think we have a phone call coming in. Yeah, that's a phone call. Let's let's just see if they could answer the phone this time. Hola, el caller. Oh. Caller? Caller! Okay, well, well... Yeah, you can hum all you want, caller, but the thing is... Call... Caller! Yes, the library did block my password. The library blocked your password? What are you talking about? Okay, you know what? Advertisement time. We gotta make money, and and these phone calls aren't going fucking anywhere. I'm getting I'm getting har harangued. My name is <clears throat> Peter. Now, if you would like to find some time crystals, do not go to Kmart, or Walmart, or the Dark Sewer Network. Don't go there. Uh uh uh. They're not inside of gnomes. Do not crack open any gnomes or gnome homes or crack and break in gnome bones. No, 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 siree. Leave the gnomes alone. This has just been a PSA on the DSM. Bye! Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, don't wait another minute. Pick up your phone and call professional Nick the Rat. Our courteous and efficient staff are on call 24 hours a day to serve all of your supernatural elimination needs. I'm ready to believe you. Call now, 917-719-5923. Alright, we got another phone call coming in, but apparently I'm getting uh, blocked by password. I don't know what the fuck that means. Hello, caller. Are you being blocked by a password? Holy shit. This is not cool. I mean, I'm getting, uh, I'm being harangued here. Caller! Caller, can, can you hear me? The, the library of the website of the manual for the WeChat, because it's spelled WeChat in the first page, is being blocked? Oh, fucking shit. I didn't... Post my didn't tweet no fucking password. What are you guys talking about? <sighs> ghost rape. The number one ghost rapes occur from succubuses. Yes, you might be like I've rode on buses before, but have you ever been sucked off on a bus? That's ghost rape. Everybody, okay, we're gonna play a song. We're gonna fucking play a song. I need to take a, I need to relax. I'm gonna take a chance with Akira. We're gonna do that. We're gonna take a chance. Oh my god. Okay, okay, hold on. Jesus fucking Christ. You better. Hello, caller. Call caller, are you there? Fucking, is this shit working? Fucking, I'm gonna keep it. Hello? Caller! Caller, are you... Caller. Caller. Caller? Caller, I hear you. Do you hear me call... Wait, hold on a second. I know the password. You Wait, what the... Don't say the password on the fucking line. Jesus this Christ. This is terrifying, Tim, and I know the password. Don't say the password. Hello? Caller, can you hear me? I am terrifying Tim, and I am here. Wait, you hear me? That's good. Um, as long as you hear me, don't, don't say my password. 
terrifying Tim cannot hear. Okay, we're going to listen to Akira with Chance. Sorry, sorry, everybody. About oh my, I can't even hear anymore. My, I blew my own ears out. That there was oh that was oh well, that was the chi, uh, Chira. Can't even fucking talk anymore. That was a gear with chance. I think I blew my ears out. I can't hear. Hello, testing one five nine, five nine or sixty seven. I can't hear. I blew my ears out. Oh, shit. I, I got ghost dicks in my ear holes. Okay. Okay, everybody. I'm back. We're good. We're good, everybody. Um, uh, succubus. A succubus is a demon in female form. A supernatural entity in folklore traced back to medieval legend that appears in dreams and takes the form of a woman in order to seduce men, <laughs> usually through sexual activity or through their bank account with uh, shopping for goods and services. The male counterpart to the succubus uh. is Incubus, which is a rock band kind of like Tool. Wait, wait, what the f I'm having issues over here. I think the sewer is haunted. You know when you're having, like, a real-life nightmare? 
I think I'm having a real life nightmare right now. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'm hard. I said, th "Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, the fucking phone is ringing." Shit! Fuck! Hello. Hello. Caller. Hello. Hi. Hello. Do you hear me? Hmm. Huh? I hear you. Can you hear me? I hear you. Do you hear me? Hmm. Do you hear me? Hello? Do you hear me? I do. You hear me? I didn't for a while. I okay, do. but you hear I me do now. now. Yeah. I, I see. Do hear you now. I, okay, there was a weird... That was weird. Maybe maybe the ghost dick um, was in the phone... The ghost dick was um, in the phone. There was meeting. the symbol of the head, the headset with the fucking mic in the. Ma Sorry, previous callers. <laughs> fucking, sh I'm being haunted. This is not good. I'm sorry. That sucks. Is it making you horny? I've I've been horny. I don't know what's going on. There's fucking ghosts going down on me and shit. I don't know what's going on. Wow. Okay, so you're not. It's a real thing, I guess. It's like a fetish where people are actually, they, I don't know what do they, what do they do? Do they like role play, but deep inside their hearts, they know that it's not the real thing. Like, how do they do that? How do they fulfill their, their fantasy? Well, ghost did, did you ever see the, the movie ghost? Yeah. 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 Apparently, uh, oh, you could put your finger on a penny in that movie. Huh? So then that's all yeah, they need to work time. with on me. That's good. Yeah. Or you can get, yeah, or learn some pottery. Apparently ghosts think that's hot. Pottery's fucking hot. No matter if right. you're dead or alive. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. I, I had an interesting experience once. Kind of weird. Uh-oh. Kind of weird. I'm going to share this. You could share. We're, it's just you and me. There's nobody else here. We're not. No, we're, no. There's not millions of listeners. Not online. <laughs> okay. So this one time, I was probably 20, maybe. Um, now, at the time, I may or may not have been doing some drugs. Some drugs. Um, but I was laying down in bed, and... I felt okay. This is this is totally true, and it's really weird. So, uh, like I said, could have been my imagination, but there was this ghost, or what I thought it was a ghost, or some kind of spirit, or something, right? And it was like standing there looking at me. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was just you know, I, wait, I, I you know, it's dark, and I'm, I stare out, and there's this person there. Wait, and was it a person or a ghost? I, I it was. I don't know. It was a. It must have been a spirit or a ghost or something. Again, a lot of drugs. Gotcha. Okay. So he comes towards me and crawls into my bed with me. Oh. And it was like, okay, what's happening here? Um. So you, did you was, tell? Did you? Were you like no? Did you say no? Do you? No, I I was you know there's something about it like okay all right you know let's 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 see what happened here. Um, you said yes. Yeah, I, I did. You know, goes. I was like, okay, okay, you know, what is this? You know, um, and it was kind of like, all right, it was getting it was getting kind of. I was like, all right, I'm going a little rough. Um, but then it started to choke me, um, and it scared the shit out of me. Did you ever see that so. movie with uh, uh, Wesley Snipes? Like, uh, I think it was Red, Red something. Uh, no, I okay. don't think I know what no. you're talking about. Oh, that's cool. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, well, go go on. So you got you, did did you die? No, no, no. I just got very frightened. I mean, well, okay, so. 
it was weird because it started to like tremble. Like it was really angry with me. Like at first I was like, I thought we were cool. And then like, I was like, you're crawling the bed with me. You're getting all like ghost sexy on me, you know, like, okay. You know? And then he like started shrieking really angrily and then choked me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, is that a thing or, but no, I can, ex- I can explain. Sometimes okay. uh, rhythm rhythm uh, doesn't match up all the time. Sometimes your rhythm might be different from uh, the go- the ghost rhythm, and right. uh, they might be on a on a whole nother level than you. And you you just were just you weren't cool that night. You weren't cool. Wasn't cool. No, no wasn't you, cool enough for the ghost. Day. No, you weren't cool no. enough for the ghost. You you supposed to, you, you, or maybe the ghost what wasn't was it? cool enough for you. What do, you, what do you think I should have done? Like, anytime this happens again, what do you think I should do? Choke the Next ghost. Time, I need some. Choke the fucking choke ghost. The ghost. Choke him. Oh. Yeah. Choke him back. Yes. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Because then okay. sometimes, you know, people. Why do you think of that? Uh, or spirits that are uh, interacting with each other don't really know <laughs> what's happening until you reciprocate, reciprocate the, the feeling. I see. I see. So the rage. So we wanted to have like, so it was like angry. Uh, he like or he it pissed. might have wanted that, and and then you you had to let it know what it felt like, and then it would have been like, oh, this is not cool. Well, it's like my first time, though. You know, it was like, well, you know, what am I supposed to just know, right? Like, I think I think I should have gotten some leeway. Maybe she just went with it. Well, I'd try to, but like, you might be dead right now. You might be a ghost. Oh shit! I didn't even think of that. You might have you might have been choked out completely. Boy, this is rough. (laughs) Oh no, am I like fuck? What do I do? I've never I've never am I an alternate universe? Have you tried to have you tried to have you tried to pinch yourself since then? Yeah. I do that, um, well, not really pinch my, like, I, if I'm tired, I, like, kind of slap my cheeks a couple times, like, wake up, but I never really pinch myself. You slap your butt cheeks? You're weird. <laughs> hey, how do you wake up in the morning? I God, usually, judgmental. I usually throw water in, in, down my pants. What the, <laughs> fucking weirdo. Oh, that's totally normal. Well, yeah, that's how you well, wake up in the morning. Um... Yeah, You're playing so. bongos on your butt or something. That's strange. Uh, did you get the ghost? Did you get the, the, the name or uh, any identification? No. No? No, no, no. He's just that ghost guy. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> I don't know. She, she'd probably be more creative with that, but it's just ghost guy. It's not It's not you. It's It's the ghost. I know. I try to tell myself that, but, you know, sometimes I'm like, what did I do wrong? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, caller. Yes. Do you know the, the phrase that pays? Phrase? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't. I was working, right? I only talk to people that are true fans to Nick the Rat Radio, not to people that are just Posers like that. That was. I think everything's working now. If if you, I think my sounds all fucked up. I'm being haunted right now. You ever get ha- my pop filter's not working? <sighs> I blame the ghosts. Hello, caller. Hello, Nick the Rat. Do you hear me? I hear you. Do Good. You, do you hear? It works. <laughs> Holy shit! This is good. <laughs> the hell? Hello, caller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
But busting makes me feel good. Oh my God, you're a perv. That well, you you win. I win. You're a winner. How's it? <laughs> so you didn't hear me before. I'm guessing. I I did hear you, and then I and then I got and then I got hung up on, and then I and I thought I had dialed the wrong number, so I dialed it again, a oh. different way, like instead of like a speed dial, I just dialed the actual number, so it was one, and then nine, and then one again. Oh, we we have a good question then, here. Did you can you repeat the phrase that pays? Oh, the phrase that pays? Yes. Can um, you repeat it? We have to clarify it with the uh, the judges of the chat. <laughs> uh, busting makes me feel good. It's busting, not busting. Jesus Christ over here. Okay, we're going to play another... Uh... Hey everybody, this is Marilyn again for the Dark Sewer News Network. Um, no, that's a, that's a repeat there. Uh, we have to play this one over here. Oh my god, it's so loud! My levels suck. Hi everybody, suck. it's me Marilyn. Zindu's big hubba bubba, scrubba scrubba in the tubba tubba. I'm um, just giving you a little news report for the Dark Sewer Network news. It looks like Amazon was allegedly scammed out of $370,000 by a 22-year-old who's really smart. He was returning all of his shipments, but instead of returning the product, he'd send back dirt. Now, if you look at, like, you know what fucking Amazon does, they just have, like, robots and stuff. Now, the only robots I have clean my house and make my pussy sweat. So I could what? totally see this kid getting around the system with these robots in these warehouses. They probably just scan, like, bars and take weight. And he probably just like, oh, this thing weighed, like, five pounds. So I'll send him five pounds of fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could probably just, like, pop to squat in there. He didn't even have to get, like, the dirt. Because, like, you know, dirt's not cheap. Dirt's expensive, baby. So, like, he probably, like, did this for, like, a while until, like, an actual Amazon human person. It probably took, like, fucking, like, fucking months for a person to even recognize that he was fucking shitting in boxes and sending that shit back to them. So, you know, he, like, got caught, and I don't know what's going to happen to him because, like, there's, like, no news in this article. This whole news article is just basically some bullshit. It's, like, tells you what he did. Like, he totally did this bad, naughty thing. Like, I, I do not recommend you return dirt for shit you bought. Like, if you bought something and you're getting money and you didn't get paid to do something, then I don't think you really should get money for it. I think you really should, like, work hard for that money, you you know what I'm saying? Like, every week when I go to the strip club and I put on my tight thong and oh, I get all up on the fucking stage and I squat and squirt for the boys, oh, boy. I'm getting paid to do those squats and squirts. You know, you know, I'm getting too deep into my life and we get away from the news. You know what? We should come back a little bit later and we'll talk about math and news. I love you. Bye. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't think I could play Marilyn anymore. This, that's, there's like adult rated, and then there's like X, X rated. Ah, oh boy. Okay. Uh, yeah. And Ghost just turned my volume all over. My levels are fucked. It's getting hot in here. Ugh. Lick the battery. I guess I could. Okay, we're gonna wait. wait uh, Let's let's do a song. My sound is so fucked right now. Adrian Pursuit. Adrian.
fucking up my technology. Shitting on my space. Welcome back to Nick the Rat Radio. That was Adrian Pursuit. Adrian Pursuit. Pursuit Adrian. I should post that in the chat so we can post pick, pop, and poop. We got voicemail. We got we got gas blast. Let's go to a you know we didn't do a gas blast in a while. Yeah. It's midnight in the sewer, buddy. Okay. Before I go to the okay before. <coughs> I break something. Look, this is a serious subject. If you or a loved one is ever touched inappropriately by a ghost, spirit, or specter, please call me at 917 719 5923. That's all I can really say. And uh, I hope it doesn't happen to you, but if it did happen to you, you know, call me. We could talk about it. Maybe I could. Uh, Help you help you out. Nine one seven seven nine five nine two three. How did you like us? We have a phone call coming through. Hello. Hey, hey, Nick. It's working again. You could hear me. I can hear you. I can't read the chat though. Am I going blind? So, Nick. Yeah. I got, I had been, uh, two, I got two for you. Oh, one, one, for one what touched hole? in a pro oh. Oh, okay. for, for, for both for, for your eye ear holes. So the first one touched inappropriately by a ghost. Oh. Grabbed my ankles real hard and pulled my spirit out of my body. Oh my God. And, you know, as you do, flailed around, turned the light on, and it evaporated. But I swear, I was numb. My legs were numb for a week, and I've never had a foot fetish since. Oh, wait, you were cured of your foot fetish? Cured? I mean, I didn't, I didn't have one to begin with, but oh. I haven't had one since. I was vaccinated. So you, were, you had the foot fetish condom put on. I exact precisely. Now, do you, did you did you did you know it when it happened? No, it was it was incredibly arousing, emotionally. Emotionally arousing. Yeah, yeah. D did you cry? Uh, from parts, yeah. Did you cry into a sock? Mm, yeah. Of course. That's, that's how I usually cry. I usually, well, I cried into a stock. I cried into a bed. I cried into a uh, 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 space. <laughs> into space. And the second one. The second one is more important, Nick. Okay. Second one Please is they dated me. a girl for a while. Yeah. Who, whenever uh, she was real into hypnotism, and whenever she would go under, she would believe herself to be a succubus. Whoa. Who was the hypnotist? That was, that was also me, but I did not tell her to do this. Oh. Wait, can you teach me how to, to make... Dougie, to do of course. How to... It's simple. You just do it. Nick. Wait, oh, you just do it? You just fuck. <laughs> You're like, oh, you're going to be a succubus now. You are now, you, you close your eyes. Ah, oh, shit, you did it to me. I did what? You hypnotized me into being a succubus. Really? It so, just happened right now. What, what are you wearing? Oh, uh, several towels. You have to be naked. I don't want to talk to people that are wearing several towels. I want you to be totally naked when you call me. God damn it. I gotta train my succubuses better. Uh, uh what's up? What, where? I don't even know where I am anymore. God damn it's tequila and beer. It's not 917 719 Hey, oh, um, 
You know what? When you went dead, I'm not allowed to talk about that. I'm sorry, cupcake. But when you went dead, even your website went down. The <gasps> Mr. Rat Radio just couldn't be. It was inaccessible. That's sad. Everything just crashed. The fu- Everything crashed. Hello, caller. Everything crashed. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that was that was my bad. Sorry. Hey, I I uh, I got some thoughts on ghost sex. Make it sexy. Oh yeah. Well, it's all sexy. You know, it's you know, there's there's like four different categories. You know, there's uh, uh sex with someone who's already dead. Uh, you know, kind of lingering around. And then uh, and then there's the the succubus one. Uh, you, you you covered that one. And then there's also the uh, astral projection sex. And that's where uh, a, a lady that you, you said initially uh, you didn't want to have sex with them, they, they, their spirit leaves their body and then invites themselves over. Uh, and then uh, and then there's also a, a, a tulpa sex where you use your brain powers to create an entity to have sex with you. Whoa. Yeah. So you could create your sex partner. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I tried a lot of different stuff in college, you know. And uh, it, the, the problem with that one, though, is that it, it, it takes a lot of time and, and focus. And then after they're created, after a while, they become self-aware and you know, just kind of develop a mind of their own. And then, and then there's fucking some other guy over at the other dorm there oh that's that's fucking horrible man so basically you make your your you you create what you want in your mind yeah 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 and then and then and then she turns into a well essentially a, a regular lady oh that's like weird science wasn't did you ever see weird science yeah, yeah, that was that was from the eighties. Weird science. Yeah, it was like you know we're, we're a bunch of nerds and we made this fucking poof, and then that poof yeah. goes. And she's like, "Fuck you guys, I I'm I'm an individual." Yeah, it, it, it's the same idea as that, but uh, it, you know, once once it's there, uh, it'll it'll hop right on there. There's no like toying with you or anything. Well, you know what you got to do, caller. What is that? You gotta make uh, you have to make you gotta make your 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 sexual partner uh only like you. And how do you do that? That's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah, there's, there's probably a like, a like a like a code for it, you know. Where you, you type in the code and like a, the, the don't wait, don't go away code. Or you do chains. Chains might work, but if it's a ghost, I don't know, or if it's like a uh, computer. Super, yeah, well, and there, there's game. also the possibility that when it becomes self-aware, it becomes clingy, and and that can be problematic too, you know, especially if you like the astral projection sex and the ghost sex, you know, that can get you know hamper it some. I I just came up with I came up with I came up with an idea. Oh yeah. Make your um. Wait a second. Is this, this is not part of the sh- this. We're talking about ghost raping you, not you raping ghost. Oh no! With the tulpa thing, it's always consensual. Okay. Well, in and that actually, case, put the tulpa yeah. in, a, in like a pillow person, like a thing with no legs that can't leave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, problem, yeah, but you know, tulpas are typically much less substantial than a pillow. Well, then, if it's like a less than a pillow, so it's like feathers. You could fuck a pile of it, feathers. That pile of feathers. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. Leave. You can fuck a pile of feathers. Just, just in feathered. <laughs> Imagine walking All around. Right, yeah. It's. Yeah, but the the other one, uh, you know, the the astral projection uh, sex that that was kind of weird uh, because like it's always like uh, you, you bump into them later and it's kind of awkward. <laughs> well, you, 
you want to bump into him. That's the whole point, I thought. <laughs> the whole the bumping is the part. That's the bumping well, makes not, me feel not, good. Not literally, oh. figuratively, physically this time. Boy, that was well said. Yo, I'm drinking an <laughs> invisible cup. Uh, look, caller. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is still water. <laughs> no way. Really? Yeah. I I forgot to mention that up at the top of that. I'm not talking to Stillwater on the phone. I can't believe that Stillwater's calling me. No. Uh, we had a voicemail that I was playing. Let's start it from over here. Let's see if this even work. That work? Oh no. No. And you said in the. What? What? I can't like start the voicemail from the middle of it. Hey, Grish. Unbelievably good. But so, hey man, if you like the taste of licorice, you really should. Experiment with absinthe. But please, just this one, <laughs> just this one fan right here, please. Okay, I'll, I'll drink some absinthe ne next week. Next week on Nick the Rat Radio, I will drink absinthe with tequila. Oh, boy. 917-719-5923. Hi, Nick. Guess who? This is Bethany. What? Now, I'm trying to hold back my emotions right now, but I heard that message Zindu left, and I'm listening to the show. Is this Bethany? And... And I'm hearing this bitch, this fucking whore, <gasps> Marilyn. She thinks she could just go around fucking my man. Like, maybe, okay, maybe, maybe I got Zindu sick, okay? I try to, like, do it, like, I try to, like, you know, get with him, like, you know, because, but then I think I fell in love with him, and I didn't want to tell him that he might get sick if, we mingle, if you know what I'm trying to say. So, uh, if you could, like, let me know where I could maybe meet this fucking cunt in Maryland in, like, what an alleyway or something so I could fucking shank her, that would be great. Anyway, um, I hope your show goes good. I haven't been able to listen for the past week or two because I've been at the doctor as well. I have been having a lot of... Uh, fluid loss and and it's just been very itchy so I, I really couldn't have been like listening to the show that much anyway um oh, Jesus Nick, fucking and Bethany and I love you that's great I love I you love too I love Zindu um, but if he ever lays his hand on that you. Maryland bitch but, I'm gonna fucking stab him okay look, we, we're gonna okay we're gonna play music. We're gonna listen to some music. We're getting we're getting deep in here. We're getting deep in here. We gotta get back to the topic on hand. We're gonna Doncier Truth. We'll be back with more Nick the Rat Radio, everybody. Wow!
In the morning to Nick the Rat. In the morning to you, sir. Nick the Rat. Drinking Modelo ne- 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 El Negros, Modelo El Negros, and uh, tequila. That's a pretty good track. I did like it. That's a Don Claire Truth. We're back, and the more that I actually drink, the the less that I think that ghost sex is bad. I'm starting to think ghost sex is good. Post that right there. Uh, my levels all fucked, but that's fine because we have a uh, ukulele. My dog has fleas. My dog has fleas. That's kind of in tune. Oh, we got a phone call coming in. Uh, I gotta change that fucking ringer. Now, hello, hello, caller. Caller. Nick the rat. 
That's me. Nick the Rat. Uh, you are one of the lucky callers to get through. There's millions of callers right now, but you got through. Thank God. I needed to. I mean, you know, so this is Pro 4, Nick the Rat. I have a few questions for you. First, first of all, Modelo with tequila. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking twisted. You've been, you've been, doing, that, you've been doing that for the past couple of weeks, huh? I had like two or three. It's a doctor's orders. <laughs> Fair enough. So I'm, I'm asking about your platform, your political platform for 2020. I'm dead serious about this, man. I'm putting I'm running. posters around Seattle. Yeah. Nick the Rat. Nick the Rat's so, running. <laughs> It'll work. We in a wheel? I'm running in a wheel? <laughs> oh, that last caller, man. He was... But what, what what was he talking about? Fucking feathers. That was. I was oh man, that dude was mechanics. totally a fucking pillow humper. The, man, <laughs> you know. What I he, was trying to figure out the mechanics of that because I was like, okay, you know, let's think it through. I, it doesn't work, man. <laughs> pillow humping works. You never had that, a pillow person how? as a kid. <laughs> the fucking pillow people. Uh, that was like uh, uh, boys first. Uh, sex doll was the pillow people. Or a girl's first <laughs> sex doll. Girls hump pillows too. I thought it was like Raggedy Andy, that, that shit, you know? I guess, but I don't, I guess you maybe you're a little bit, you're like probably like five years older than me then. Yeah. Oh, 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 a bit more, but uh, maturity members that would work. That's uh, why we jive. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. I'd fuck Raggedy <laughs> Ann or Andy as well. Everybody humps pillows. I've, We're a bunch of pillow humpers. Yeah. Well, remember Bugs Bunny in the skirt in Warner Brothers? Oh my you know, God! Uh, that cartoon, and you know, it was it was some opera, you know, and uh, it was him and Emma Stone or some shit, you know, and, and he looked so good, you know. I think What's that was part of the reason Doc? why the kids. Are, what is up, kids, Doc? It's fun. <laughs> but planting the Bugs Bunny, you know, um, transvestite in kids' brains, you know, in the fifties, man. Think about that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm, going, well, I'm, I'm going zoning out now because I keep thinking about that. Hold on. <laughs> me, let's too. Get back. Me, me, me too. <laughs> me too. I'm letting you go. <laughs> That's. Whew. Oh, I got. I, um, we have more news. Oh, we're all pillow humpers. Don't worry about it. Um, everybody's. What is it? We do, do we hear this? Hi, everybody. Marilyn here. I'm totally a real girl. Uh, every, I've been getting a couple, I've been hearing on the streets that people don't, either way, let's not even talk about that because we're here for the news. Now, in the news, I read that, ooh, rats, the NYCHA, what is that, the New York City Housing Authority? Um, the rats are getting into holes, and uh, Zindi told me so much about Nick the Rat that, like, I totally might want him to get into my hole, especially Whoa. after hearing this article. It's really, really crispy. Let's see here. Uh, now the rat census is in. 71,394 units with at least two rat complaints in a year. That's a lot of fucking complaints. Now, I, I don't know what these people too. are doing. Like, you don't even need an exterminator. All you gotta do is fill the gaps up. Just fill them holes. Come on, boys. Like, if you're working for, like, the New York the, like, City, you don't really have to do much. But all you have to really do is just fill them holes. Just get in there and fill all the holes and the cracks. Make sure you get all the nooks and crannies just filled up, you fucking worthless boys. It's, like, so silly. Like, I'm sure if there was, like, girls working there that there would be totally, like, no rats there because the girls know how to fill the holes up. I'm totally aware of this because I am such a hole filler. If you know what I'm trying to say. I don't know if you know what I'm trying to say. But no either idea. way, no like, all the rats, could they can't get into your house. It's not like... It's not like there's rats hiding in your cupboard or anything. They're not like roaches, you know what I'm saying? Like, roaches get through, like, tiny, itty-bitty, little, itty-bitty, bitty, itty-bitty, tiny cracks. But rats, they need, like, an inch of a hole. Now, if the, if the New York State can't fill an inch big hole, you guys might not, you might want a new fucking mayor. I think de Blasio has a problem with these inch bigs, you know what I'm trying to say? Either way... 
This has been Marilyn. I'll talk to you later. Fucking hey, Nick. Fucking yeah. Hello. Hi. Would you like a smile? A smile? Yeah, I yeah, got a smile for you. I, uh, sure. You got one. On the line of ghost sex. Yeah. Did you know that back in 2004, yeah. Anna Nicole Smith told some publication about having slept with a ghost? Not only that, but later, Dan Aykroyd told another publication in an interview that he had cuddled with a ghost, quoting, saying, yeah, maybe that guy was gay and he wanted to have some fun. I'd be surprised if I was his type, but when you're dead, you'll take what you can get. Whoa, wait, we got we got celebrities. We have Anna Nicole Smith and Dan Aykroyd, both fucked ghost. More than that. <gasps> Lucy Liu also joined in saying the same thing. But if you want a more recent example, because I don't have anything newer than this, Kesha told Ryan Seacrest back in 2012 that she did the whole thing with a ghost. The whole in thing? I love. I like. She got jiggy with it. I fucking love the whole thing. If you tell, we have a uh, hello caller. Oh, I just had a correction, Nick. Throughout this is Prof Ward, your previous caller. Dan Aykroyd actually in Ghostbusters had his fly unzipped, and I think his dick sucked by a ghost. But I feel as though that might not have been real life. No, 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 no. no. That was. <laughs> we we trying to. I don't know. That wasn't real? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we wish it were. That, that was one of the best scenes, you know? He seemed to have a good time. No, I remember. <laughs> I saw Dan Aykroyd getting his dick sucked by a ghost. I seen it. That's not, not real. Fuck. It's real. It, is there like a... It, uh, okay, you go to Pornhub, there's like paranormal porn now? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not... Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's go I'm to asking, porn. I'm asking you. Apparently, yes. The voices in my head are saying, yes, there is paranormal. <laughs> I've seen, that I've would seen open like up zombie, but I've never seen like ghost porn. <laughs> porn. Have, you seen, have, you seen that, have you seen that zombie movie? I'm a huge zombie fan where the zombie fall, falls in love with the girl and they like fuck in the convenience. I have seen that. And he gets like his heart started beating again. <laughs> okay. Porn. Let's go to yeah. Pornhub. Yeah. I'm gonna look up ghost. Ow. Fucking my Yeah. Look up paranormal porn and zombie porn because that would open my world. No, zo- well, we're not yeah. talking about zombie porn tonight. We're talking about ghost You're right. You're ghost right. fucking You're right. over here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ghost fucking. Oh wow. Oh, Whoa. that might work. Ghost, Whoa. ghost fucking. Some gross stuff on the screen. Yeah, so a ghost. Let's look up ghost on Pornhub. <laughs> um some anime stuff. Har horror yeah. porn. Oh, oh like God! Mystic. That's not a ghost. That's a oh boy. Okay, let, let get oh boy. I gotta get out of there. That the was problem not... with uh, t- here's the problem with you seeing Dan Aykroyd uh, uh, with the ghost sucking him off is Oof. if the ghost is like trans- transparent or half translucent, then it's oh, it's more of a show than I would like, you know. Well, who was the Ghostbuster that died? What's his name? Fucking oh. Oh fuck! Ra- Ramies? Oh, uh, oh Jesus! Yeah, Jesus! No, 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 <laughs> no! But Zemeckis or some? Sh- no, yeah, it was I'm like Sam Zemeckis. Some shit like that. He was like behind a lot of this shit, man. Do you uh, think? Fucking, do you think Dan uh, Aykroyd got Egon. like a ghost Egon. blow job from Egon after he passed away? That's that's <laughs> and, fucked up. Yeah, some, I shouldn't be saying that. I'm some, sorry. Well, it you know brings up a whole different uh, you know uh, area where it's like ghost venereal diseases, the, and there's uh, I mean GVDs. You, they, yes, <laughs> like like <laughs> it's real. It's real. I don't have any GVDs. I just want everybody to know. I can't talk. I gotta go. They're kind of like EVPs. <laughs>
They're like EVPs. <laughs> I could have sworn the voice in my head was supposed to be... My fucking pop filter broke. <laughs> it just broke off. You can borrow mine. <laughs> you, the voice in my head needs to pop, though. Jesus Christ, I got another call coming in. Okay. Uh, oh, they love you tonight, dear. You're popular. I'm pop popping over you. Hello, person on the phone. Hello. 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 Hi. This is terrifying, Tim. Terrifying, Tim? To... Yes. Are you a axe murderer? No. Whew. I heard you were talking about blood magic last week. Yeah, blood magic. The blood magic was last week. We're talking about ghost sex this week. But this is important. Okay. This concerns the safety of anyone who comes in contact with blood magic. Okay, witches. well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's throw the rules out the window. We'll talk about last week's topic this week. Okay. Joking. We're not talking about last week's topic this week. We're talking about fucking ghost sex, not fucking blood magic. It's a stupid topic anyway. We're, we're totally... <laughs> we got a voicemail. 917-719-5923. Hey, buddy. Oh, we got another phone call. Hello, caller. Did, did, did we get disconnected? This is terrifying, Tim. Oh, hi, terrifying team. Uh, my name is Nick the Rat. What's what's going on? How are you? Hello. Hi. I've come. You come? You Jesus Christ, dude! This is. Oh. Keep that shit in your pants. Okay. I will. Okay. But, but this isn't about that. This is about the spell that I have to give you. Do you want the spell? It will protect you from blood magic. Wait, blood magic or ghost sex? Ghost sex. Yes, yeah, exactly. I want the ghost, ghost sex. sex spell. Please give it to me. Okay. You must stare into the ghost's eyes and say, ooh, 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 ooh. But it cannot protect you or cure you from your foot fetish, no matter how hard the ghost pulls on your ankles. So just ooh, 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 ooh? Ooh, 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 ooh. Like I got that. it wrong. Sorry. Ooh, 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 ooh. Exactly. I got You've it. You nailed it. So if I'm getting raped by a ghost, I just scream that in their face and I'll be good? Yeah, you'll be halfway there. All right, well, that's all. I, I only care about halfway there. You want to show about ghost sex tonight? What the fuck well, is I this? Well, I think I... My phone is possessed. Finagled with a ghost before. What? It was, well, I was about 25 years old a few years ago. I was in college. Uh, maybe I was in high school. Got left back a lot. Uh, I met this girl named Betty Sue. We would I'd go out with her. I'd pay her. I'd give her a lot of stuff. We'd go to the diner and at the movies. And I'd say, I, well, I didn't even ask for any money because I'm a gentle man. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm a gentle man. And uh, we never really... Finagle, finagle that much there, really. I was maybe lying about all that stuff. So, so uh, but, but when I tried to, when I was put the moves on, I told her um, that I wanted, you know, relation with her, with her. I wanted to put my keys in her, inside of her um, purse. She disappeared. I think she was a ghost. That bitch was definitely a ghost because no girls could resist me. What the fuck is still this? Still virgin, please, if you... If you want to have sex with me, please give me a call at five nine three no, five turn, four. Stop! Stop! Turn that off! 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 Nobody wants to have sex with you, dude. Sorry, not even ghost or say ooh ee ooh ah ah ooh ting tang walla walla bing bang. 
Apparently, that's what uh, you have to do. Uh, uh, where are we in the show right now? We have to play some advertisements. This is Dink the Rat Radio, everybody. Thank you for spending some time with me. Uh, I love you, and you love me. Let's all be a happy family with an advertisement here and there in my underwear. Ooh, ee, ah, that ghost is giving me head. Are you feeling down in the sewer? Need a quick pick-me-up? We heard you, and we made a brew. Dark Sewer Coffee. From 100% GMO and gluten-free, wild-caught, grass-fed beans, these artisanally grown masterpieces were produced in a Brooklyn sewer. Each bean was given a name and a story, and for as little as 69 cents a cup, you too can have a damn fine cup of coffee. Dark Sewer Coffee. For the caffeine fiend in you. Do you want to wow her with flavor? Do you want to make her panties moist? Do you want to make her drool all over you? Do you want to give her the sweetest thing you could put into her mouth? Do you want her to look at you and think of something super sweet? Do you want her to put her hands through your hair and tell you, give me more, give me more, give me more now before I kill you? Do you want her to do your taxes for you? You need dark sewer chocolate. Dark sewer chocolate is 100% not real chocolate, but let me tell you, it will make her mouth water. What is it if it's not chocolate, you say? Well, I am not telling you, it is a secret. Yes? You are allowed to have secrets as long as it's FDA approved. And yes, we paid them off. So yes, we will not be telling you what dark sewer chocolate really is. All you have to know is it's dark, it's from the sewer, and she's going to want it in her mouth. Buy both the cheap dark sewer chocolate today. Oh God, call it. cents a bar. Where oh, hey, hey, Nick. Uh, I, I, I got a ghost sex oh, story now, for you. Yeah, wait, 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 hold on. This advertisement's almost over here. It's fucking... That was great. Oh. Uh, hi. 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 Oh, yeah. Great product. Great product. It's fucking... Uh, yeah. I got a, I got a, a, a ghost sex story for you. Ooh. Wait. Should I get the, should I get the coconut oil? Uh, yeah. You better have that handy. <laughs> anyway, uh, this was... Uh, I was over in Deadwood, uh, and um, they, they have these old buildings that used to be the, uh, uh, you know, the brothels and... Uh, as everyone knows, that place is haunted as fuck. Uh, just ghosts everywhere, and it's great when you when you go into the ghost brothel. Like, it, you can tell that the ladies are hitting on you. You know, they yeah, they, you know, they they're like feeling you up, but there's no one there. It's like oh. kind of scary, but yeah. It's oh man, it, it was wild. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, up in Deadwood. Yeah, and uh, the the problem though is that it, as soon as you say the words, no, I don't have any ghost money, and then. It's just the cold shoulder the rest of the night. Just bad vibes are all around. So, uh, you need to have ghost money with you. Well, I mean, yeah, they they then, they, they know what they're doing. Yeah, I know, but you, you get them away <laughs> by saying, "Hey, stop touching me! I have ghost money. Here's a ghost dollar. Go fuck off." Oh no, uh, you, you got to reverse that. Oh. You, you you have the right idea. It's like. Saying you don't have any ghost money is how you make them go away. Oh, so tell okay, maybe that's why yeah. I got this because I was telling all the ghost the, the I was telling the ghost that yeah. I had ghost money. Here it is, go yeah. away. But the thing is, I have to yeah. say I don't have the ghost money. They go away naturally. Yeah, but if you have ghost money, they'll give you a good time. You know. I it's just really hard to get ghost money. It is a little bit, but you know, you could just exchange your your USDs for the the gold dinar, and then the, change the gold dinar into yeah. uh, into the Russian ruble, and then you take the Russian mm-hmm. ruble, you put it into the the um, uh, 
the Bitcoin, and then you make the Bitcoin right, uh, right into the ghost ghost dollar, and then you you. Yeah, to... it's it's just just as simple as that. Yeah. It's not that hard. Yeah. People are always complain like, you, "Oh you, fuck, I don't have these ghost dollars," but I'm like, "You're just yeah. stupid. You're fucking dumb." Well, it's the best way hard. to do it is to rob a ghost train. Have you ever done that? Oh yeah, dozens of times. I mean, like uh, officially, no, uh-uh, but statue. Don't fucking talk about stealing ghost, robbing ghost trains on the show. You know what kind of shit you're gonna get me into? The news. Hi everybody, it's Marilyn. Mon- what the fuck is going on back there? Let's slower that a little bit. I was- my workout music. Sometimes you like while well, I'm doing the news, I want to what flex the my thighs and stretch my heels out. But uh, I'm sorry, I, I really mean to ruin that. I hope Zindu doesn't get mad at me. I hope he's like still down to get to clown. Ow! I'm sorry, Zindu. The, the, this mic is so big. I'm not used to it so big. Even though you're pretty big, I love you, Zindu. Um, um, okay. Let me just first by starting off that um. Zindu might have thought that I was really pale and see-through, but I am not a ghost, okay? Thank you. Um, Okay, so let's get back to the story. Katy Perry was, like, totally sued for Dark Horse. And at first I read this, and I was like, oh, happy day, because fuck Katy Perry, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's, like, big corp. She's like aggro, big aggro or something. Like, she aggravates me with her music and her stupidity. So I was kind of happy when I first saw this. I was like, oh, that's great. But then I looked deeper into it. Like, I spread those thighs way apart, and I glared into her deep, dark hull of her dark horse. And basically, she got sued for, like, for this. Like, if I, okay, look here. I might get sued by doing this, but I've got fucking pussy of steel. So... Imagine if you got sued for going bing, 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 boom, boom, boom. And then you got, like, sued. Like, that's crazy. I really hope she, like, fights that, that like, back about that because that's, like, that's stupid. Copyright is going way out of control lately. Has anybody noticed this? It's so stupid. Stupid. Not like Zindu, he's smart. Anyway, this was Marilyn for Dark Sewer News Network, and I'm totally free Friday night. Sucked. Oh, so I'm sorry, Zindu, I love you. Bye. What the fuck, Zindu? You're f- I'm going to fire you. We we are talking about ghost sex tonight on Nick the Rat Radio, and uh, people might have seen me whip it out earlier, but I did not play the ukulele uh, "Stay" by Coco Cordero. Sure how I feel about it Some- 
this whole gun Funny you're the broken one But I'm the only one who needed saving Cause when you never see the light It's hard to know which one of us is caving Not really sure how to feel about it Something in the way you Makes me feel like I can't live without you Takes me all the way I want you to stay Uh, Coco Cordero stay with a ukulele color right there. Color, color. Uh, we have a lot more show for you. Uh, we have gas blast. We we can do. Uh, I should read one right now. <clears throat> beep hi beep by beep. Wait, we have more gas blast than that. There was a really funny one recently. Uh, we have another one. Uh, you might want to look out. You might want to look out behind you. No, that's just a fucking green screen. Just saying. Uh, we had a funny one. Not the parlor. Hold on one second here. There was a good one. I, I liked it a lot. Mayo Day Parade. No, this is newer than that. No, it's something about the Sultan of Soy. Where's where is it? Uh no. No. What I fucking lost it? Wait, or did they not put the the, the the fucking thing in there? Ah you Alright, let me just do one more search. That's my no, that's not it. Hold where the fuck am I? Nine one seven seven one nine five nine Two, three. We we we're talking about ghost and succubus. There's more. There's more than just those two things, and ghost follicles, flacles. Nine one seven seven nine. Hey there, Nick the Rat. This here is the Open Z calling you from actually Minnesota. I'm I'm left Tennessee for a little bit to go visit my great 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 grandmama. What? You might be like, whoa, Buford Z, how old are you? How old is your great 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 grandma? Well, she is a lovely year of a hundred and ninety seven. You might be like, Whoa, Buford Z, that bitch is old as shit. And you are correct, Nick the Rat. Well, my family, the T's the Buford T family is into witchcraft, and I know all about the hoosies and the watches and the fucking Ouija boards and all that good shit. So the Buford T family, we don't die. We just multiply. You don't even know how many Bufords there might be out there because we live a long time. Now, you might be like, Buford T is this some bullshit, and I'll tell you to go Suck a dick, because I'm you for T giving you a call from, well, I don't know where fuck I am anymore, but either way, I have a great show. I fucking hate you, you piece of shit, Nick the Rat. <laughs> Whoa. What the f... What the fuck? Dude, Nick, bro, man. Good, so you're hosting, like, your, your weekly, like, sewer party, man. Yeah. Like, man, I totally just came from the grocery store, man. Yeah. Uh, dude, total bogo offers, man. Buy one, get ones, man. So, yeah, I, like, uh, picked up some. They didn't have any, like, uh, soup ladles, so I picked up some, uh, some gravy ladles, and, uh, I picked up some Miracle Whip, man, so we could totally fucking serve it up to everybody, man. Yeah. Dude, party on, man. I went seven, seven, nine, five, nine, two. Five nine two three. No, 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 no. Okay. What? I 
Don't call anymore, I promise. Okay, no, it's fine. Call me. Okay, bye. No, call. Call back. Please call back. Fucking sh fuck. <sighs> One o'clock in the f in the morning. I'm drunk, but we could still have a podcast. You know, that's how we do it down here in the sewer. And we're talking about sex with a ghost. And Nicole fucked a ghost, and so did I. But other people did, too. Now, you might be like, ooh, succubus. Meow, titties. But what about an incubus? Ooh. Ah, big old ghost dick, huh? Maybe that's what got me. Because when I woke up, all I saw was ghost ass on my chest. And ghost the ghost head was going up and down. I didn't see any ghost hair. They were, they were bald. They could have been male or female. It still got me excited, though, because sometimes you can't stop. So, you, uh, so the, the male succubus... It's an incubus. Yeah. It's a it's a demon. Yeah, a lot of demons. A lot of, a lot of demons and sex and the fuck. No. It's a male from according to mythological legend and uh, traditions lies upon a sleeping woman, or Nick the Rat, in order to engage in sexual activity with them. It's a uh, female counterpart is a succubus, but we already talked about that. But you know, I think I don't know if it's a dude or a chick sitting on my chest. Blowing me. Either way, I felt fucking amazing. I was rock hard. Um, uh, the Salkos tales of Enkubai and Sukuba. Okay, look, ghosts are gonna rape you. Okay, protect yourself. And you know how you protect yourself? With a a chastity belt. Just put one of, like a metal strap over your privates, so you can't get. Wet or hard. A spongy strap. A spongy metal strap. A metal strap with sponge. So if if you get to whatever, you're good to go. No matter which way. No matter which way you go. That's um. Ah. Uh, Nine one seven seven one nine five nine two. Do we hear this? Hello, this is Marilyn for the Dark Sewer News Network. Um, let me. I. Uh, this one is scary. There was a man. He was like totally circumcised by accident. And not oh, only God. was he circumcised by accident, this guy was 70 years old. Terry Brazier was 70 years old, and he went to uh, Leicester Royal Infirmary for a bladder procedure. He probably had, like, you know, he's, like, probably pissing up bed every night or something. So he went to, like, this thing to get this thing, like, called Ciscoscopy, and, like, he got his papers mixed up, and he was totally circumcised at 70. Like, A, what are these doctors thinking? Now, you know, I, I've been to the doctors for a couple procedures. Now, if they fucked up like that, I would be so outraged. Like, so mad. Now, this guy's 70, and he got his dick cut. Like, what the fuck? Who is going to get, who's going to be 70 and get their dick cut? I don't know what they were thinking. Like, does anybody out there know? No, you probably don't. Now, this poor fucking asshole... All he got out of it, like, this might sound, maybe this will last almost until he's dead or something, but it was only $24,000. Imagine you go to the doctor, they give you the wrong procedure, and they cut your dick, and you're 70. Now, I know you're not really using your dick anymore, and, like, it might be easier to clean after that or some bullshit, what? but seriously, if you touch my privates without me giving you consent, I'm getting at least $2 million from you, okay? So don't you fuck up on my procedures, you assholes. Agreed. Okay, so... Agreed. 
Let's read a quote. They didn't know what to say when they found out they'd done it. They said he can't send me back to the ward and they needed to talk to me, he told the newspaper. It was a real surprise. We remain deeply and genuinely sorry that this mistake occurred and I would like to take this opportunity once again to, to apologize. Now, these fucking doctors and these hospitals, they're making like $24,000 an hour. I'm telling you, these people, this is a scam. This is a fucking scam. This guy needs a lot more money. I'm going to go protest for this guy's fucking dick tip. All right. This has been um, Marilyn Monroe reporting to you for the Dark Sewer News Network. Love you. Okay. Uh, we're getting We're getting deep late into the show. I don't even know where my fucking... What, what is this shit? Hi. Deeply. Um, no, fuck. Geez. All right, whatever. That's fine. Okay. Jababa, <sighs> skabop. Bebop-a-doop-dop day. We got more voicemail. Do we have any gas blast? Let me check the fucking email. I've been cursing way too much lately. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, sometimes you you, you have these traumatic experiences and all you can really think about are dirty, filthy fucking... Ooh. Oh, man. I just want, I just want that dude to sit on my chest again while I'm... Too. Whoa. Wait, there was like that funny one. Hold on here. Uh, let me just type in Sultan. I know it was in, under Sultan. I got a fucking phone call. Hello. F God, are oh, you fucking hot? Okay, we got a. I just ran out of light bulb juice and my house is completely dark. My local Ace Hardware had to raise all of its prices to keep with the big box stores and they charge over $1,000 per gallon, which I can't afford. The closest Home Depot is 50 miles per way. Fuck Lowe's, which I do. Make your own. Um, duh. At first... Okay, here we go. This is the thing I was looking for. At first, I thought that guy who keeps calling you the Sultan of Soy... Come on, I'm just trying to fucking read this email here. Hello, caller! Nick Therat, this is Prop 4 again. Um, I just heard you apologizing... Well, yeah, I'm sorry for all my sins. I don't even... Nick the Rat, you, you, you do not need to apologize for anything. Really? I feel like there is a Catholic guilt lurking, lurking somewhere in there. We have, you know, we have original sin. No, we do, I don't even... Don't ask me about that shit, but uh, you are apologizing, and I just want you to... Uh, I just wanted to tell you that that's just... You know, well, I hung up on him, and I didn't have an apology about it. Okay, let's go back to this uh, b bl gas blast. At first, I thought that the guy who kept calling you the Sultan Soy was clowning you. But seriously, bro, only fucking soy boys get sick in the middle of summer. That's not what I thought it said. Fuck! Okay, let's close the show up. Let's listen to... We got uh, a song here called Ghost. The uh, by a cat trash over.
blah, blah, blah. That's the tone. <laughs> You're building a rat ship. Ghost by a Catra. Nick, Nick the Ghost. Ghost. Hello, everybody. I'm coming, I'm coming, to, you coming, coming, coming to you from the astral plane. No, we're not playing. Uh, we're not playing D and D right now. Maybe tomorrow we'll be playing some D and D. Let me just finish the show. The fuck up. Let's go uh, through all the stuff. We got the gas blast. We did all that. Let's go through the voicemails. I just got to get out of here. I'm fucking... Woo! Oh, we got a lot of voicemails left. Let's try this one here. Saturday in Seattle. And you were talking about uh, your callers and somebody telling you that you've been too nice to your callers. I don't know. I, you know, it's pretty awesome when you just hang the fuck up on them. But you were saying, uh, you know, that uh, you, you know, you, you callers better have something to say. And uh, I was wondering, you know, whether any of your callers have ever had anything to say. Uh, so that's a live question. Um, and uh, yeah, man, uh, we'll talk to you Wednesday. That's me. Wednesday. Um, that's the dude. Wednesday. Was it? Wow. There's two more voicemails from that same person. I think. Let's go through those and see if I can. Any, uh, Nick the Rat. It's Prof Oregon. I'm just you know going through your show. Oh, Prof, I love you. A couple, you know, uh, um, comments. So with the comments? whole um, poltergeist church thing, I completely agree with you. Yeah. Thanks. You know, churches shouldn't be, you know, turning people away. I remember no. my uh, uh, grandmom and granddad had a poltergeist in their attic. Well, I'm I'm turning you away. We're going to the news. 917-719-503. Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn Monroe and A. Fuck Bethany. What the? She got her sick. It wasn't me. You know how I know it wasn't me? I'm a fucking ghost, okay? I was haunting Zindu. I saw that little cute alien up at the fucking hospital, and I thought I'd sit on his lap and ride his cojones and get him off while he's feeling feverish. Okay, bitch? Now, you might be, like, saying, oh, my God, a ghost doing the news. You know what? Fuck you, okay? Fuck you. Bethany, suck a dick. Just not my man, Zindu's. Zindu's my man. Your fucking diseased fucking pussy hole got that boy sick, okay? Whoa! Okay, anyway, let's go back to the news because I am not vindictive. I am Marilyn Monroe, the happiest ghost in the world. With a nice big rack and a thick ass ass. I'm fucking... I'm a... what What do they call him? Uh, white girls with a fat ass or wappa or something. Either way, okay, this news right here. Let's see. If FCC bans robocalls and text. The Federal Communications Commission voted to approve laws that ban fraudulent text messages and international robocalls last week. The new rules in effect neutralize loopholes in the Truth in Caller ID Act, which banned spoofing. Oh, I love to go spoofing. I do that every fucking, fucking Thursday. Pervert. What the fuck? Spoof. 
uh, domestic calls, but it made it hard for the FCC to prosecute against perpetrators of scam texts and international calls. Now the FCC can monitor and penalize. Mm, I love penis in my eyes. Bad actors behind these types of schemes. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this is bullshit. These schemers are just going to work around it. I'm going to get 5,000 calls on my fucking ghost phone, and it's, nothing's going to change. It pisses me off, these things. You know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, um, this has been Hurry a up. great opportunity for me to do the speedle, news. Speedle I'm along. Marilyn Monroe the ghost, and I'm going to fuck Zindu till he's better for you Jesus guys. I'm going to try to get back Christ. into the studios. You know what I'm trying to say? That's and Bethany, gross. back the fuck off, you fucking ugly Leave her bitch. alone. Leave Bye. Bethany alone. All right. We're going to close the show with a uh, paragraph from David Lynch. This one's called Compassion. Meditation is not a selfish thing. Even though you're driving in and experiencing the self, you're not closing yourself off from the world. You're strengthening yourself so that you can be more efficient when you go back out into the world. It's like they say on airplanes. First put your mask on, then help those next to you put theirs on. My friend Charles Lutz used to say, there's a guy crying on the curb. And you sit down to comfort him, and pretty soon there's two guys crying on the curb. So compassion, appreciation for others, and the capacity to help others are enhanced when you meditate. You start driving down and experiencing this ocean of pure love, pure peace. You could say pure compassion. You experience that and know it by being it. Then you go out into the world and you can rely. Really, you can't rely. You can really do something for the people. There we go. That's a fucking... That's from David Lynch. Let's end the show with one more song. And uh, let's talk about fucking one more thing about ghost sex. Can't get ghost pregnant. And you can't get STDs from ghost. So before you wake up with a heart on or the wetness, just finish off. Finish yourself off with the ghost. Go all the way. Don't be a pussy. All right. Uh, f- fucking Likey Lee Unchained with Pop Pop Labyrinth. I don't fucking know what this is. Fuck you. F- fucking love you guys. Bye.